In this video, we will demonstrate use of the Controlled Airway Purifying Respirator, also known as the capper. At this time, the CDC is uncertain at what distance a COVID patient may still be infectious. Proper use of personal protective equipment to retain contact and respiratory barriers is essential. When donning and doffing your PPE, clean everything, tie your hair back, remove any jewelry, ask a buddy, especially the patient's nurse, to watch and direct you. Move slowly and carefully at all times and concentrate only on what you are doing. All patient experiences should start with effective hand washing or alcohol use. Go between your fingers, around the backs of your hands, your wrists, and your thumbs. Begin by removing the paper bag for your respirator and your face shield from your PPE carrying bag. Secure the bag on the accessibility hook and remove a helmet. Unload a battery from the charging station and secure it at your waist. Remove your comfort strips and secure it at the front of the helmet. Using both hands, carefully place the face shield on the front of the helmet. Pull it tight until you can feel the plastic pop through. Use your thumbs and ensure that the front of the shield is over top of the pylons on either side. Carefully remove your N95 respirator or surgical mask and place it back in the brown paper bag. It's time to gown up. Carefully inspect it on both sides for defects. Place your head through the hole, behind your neck, and place your hand through, ensuring your thumb goes through the hole. When donning your helmet, first open the face shield so you can place your chin inside. Next, ratchet close the headband so it's tight, pull the cord behind you, and place it into the battery, watching to make sure the lights turn on. Three green lights is what you're looking for. Now tie your gown over the cords and put on gloves. Make sure they're pulled over top of your wrists. Doffing personal equipment after patient exposure is when you are most at risk. Be careful. In the anteroom, first lean forward and pull your gown away at the waist and shoulders, breaking the straps. Pull your arms out from the inside, being sure to take off your gloves without touching the outside of the gown. Bundle or roll it up and place it in the trash. Immediately proceed to the closest sink for vigorous hand washing of at least 20 to 25 seconds. When you're ready to leave, use a paper towel to open the door. Immediately proceed to the dirty table and put on gloves to prepare your equipment. Start by unplugging and removing the battery. Then, take off your face shield and place it face down on the table. Loosen the back ratchet on your helmet and remove it placing the wire inside. Use Super Santa Wipes, not bleach, to clean every available surface, all of the cracks in the battery, both sides of the mask. Use as many as you need to clean every part of the helmet. After the disinfected, carefully remove your comfort strip for placement back in your PPE bag. Make sure you wipe the cord down all the way from top to bottom. Put the battery back on the charger, your now clean helmet back in the station, your comfort strips back in their PPE bag, and remove your gloves. Your respirator will be easier to put back on if you separate the elastic bands before placing them over your head. Then, secure it to your nose and you're ready to go back to work. And finally, all patient encounters end with scrubbing out. That's it. Stay safe out there everyone and keep helping each other.